Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over how to change a track width size. This is something you probably want to do in your layout, especially if you have, you know, a signal trace versus a power trace, and you might want to just, uh, you know, you might need to get smaller to go between different uh, elements within your design. So let's see how we can actually go and change this thing. So first things first, let's uh, let's start by drawing just a default uh, track. What I'm going to do, actually, let me turn off a, a layer here. It's got extra extra stuff turned on. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. There we go. So we're going to turn off the fab layer. That's what's showing uh, all the stuff in gray here. A little bit too much stuff. We'll also turn off the uh, front side and back side stuff. There we go. So nice and simple design now. OK, so first things first, I'm going to hit X to start drawing. And if I start drawing a track, great. Double click to finish, and we're all done. OK, so first thing to note here is that this is 10 mils. How can I tell? Well, this is up in the upper left corner. You can see that the track width is set to 10 mils or 0.254 millimeters. I actually have started using mostly um, uh, metric for my, my layouts, including for the track width, which is usually specced in mils, which is thousandths of an inch. Uh, but I'm going to, uh, either way, this one is set as, as a default 10 mil. Now, if we want to change this, there's basically two places we can do this. And in 5.1, it's going to be a little bit different than 5. Point, uh, sorry, 5.0, like what we're looking at here, is going to be a little bit different than 5.1. In fact, this setup menu basically all collapses down to one dialog in, in KiCad 5.1. So we will make a video about that when it happens. So what we're going to do is go to Design Rules. And here we go. So now what we have is basically Net Class Editors. You see there are two Net Classes set up here, and then Global Design Rules. So we have two Net Classes set up. Um, I'm going to actually switch to inches because this, this uh, layout was done in in inches, in, in imperial, instead of uh, instead of metric. And you can see that, that this is a pretty easy way to tell that it's 0 0.01. You know, flat numbers like that are pretty easy to tell there. So what we have is the clearance is set to 10 mils. The track width is set to 10 mils as the default. And then some of the net classes are set as, uh, as power. And when it's power, it's going to switch over to a different class. Now, we could do this. We could go and add another net class. To, to this as well. So say we wanted to add a um, you know, sensitive signal. Right? We'll just call it sense. Right? Basically, in here, we could go in and we could say, OK, sensitive signals are going to have a 0 .0, uh, 0 0.08 or 8 mil uh, track width. And then the clearance can go a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit closer as well. You know, I'm not sure why you do that for sensitive, but now we have a slightly different one. Well, if we wanted to actually add something to that net class, we'd have to go and select here. We could go and grab one of the, the nets. And then we can slide it over into that sensitive class, right? So if we go and grab any of the, if we start routing any of these lines now, it should default and switch to that uh, that new width there. I've already forgotten what it's called. Uh, let's see which tracks those were. So if we go to the sensitive, so PD2, PD3, and ref in. Okay, so I think that's on the uh, backside components here. Um, Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Here, ref in. So this is ref in. So this one should be a uh, 10 mil component. We mouse over, hit E. We should be able to see. Okay, this is a 10 mil trace here. But now, if I start drawing a new one, it should. And you see in the upper left there, it did switch to a uh, point or sorry, 8 mil trace because we added it to that that net class. So that is definitely one way you can go and change the the uh, the the trace width is by actually assigning a net to a net class. And then every time you start routing that net, you're going to grab that new, uh, that new width there. Personally, I like to be able to switch things uh, kind of more, more arbitrarily. And this is going to be something you have to feel out over time and something we talk about in contextual electronics of why you'd want to do this. Why would you go size up or size down for, for different traces? Normally, I start with the default. So let's go to the global design rules. So this sets us up as, so this was set up for the Oshpark process. So it's set at 6 mils, which is the minimum tr traits track width. Uh, and then also the minimum via diameter is 27 mils wide. This has actually changed in the meantime, but 27 mils wide for the total uh, annular ring, and then 13 mil for the drill. OK, so if we want to go and add a, let's just talk about the trace width now. Uh, if we want to change that, we can actually go and add additional additional options here. And so what I usually do is I start doing multiple. So if six mil is our default, I'm going to go to 0 .00, or sorry, 0 0.012, and then 0 0.024, 0 0.024, and then let's go 0 0.048, 0 0.048. Okay, and then this should all 
this should not throw any errors because our minimum, as long as these are not set less than the minimum track width, we should be okay. Now, what we can also do is set our default to that minimum uh, track clearance or track width as well. So let's do that. So we're going to say now, now our default is six mils instead of ten mils. We're going to hit OK. And now when I start routing any generic trace, let's just grab, how about this one? Any generic trace now, if you look in the upper left, is set to six mils. So I'm going to double click to end. Now I'm going to go and click over here on this menu and see what our options are. Now there's more options listed because we added those as the custom track widths in that dialog. So 6, 12, 24, 48. If I want to go and, ch and change through them, I can click to start. Now I hit W. And you see, as I move the track a little bit, it, it changes up to that 12 mil size. If I hit W again, it gets bigger. W again, and it gets monstrous. And obviously, you know, you could set these to whatever you want it to be. But uh, you can actually, you know, there there's sometimes when you might want to have a really really thick trace between things. You might want to have, you know, a really really narrow be trace between things. The important thing is that you don't go less than the minimum that you set because it will error out. That's also going to be what's used in the DRC. DRC is going to check that your, none of your traces are less than your minimum width. Now, if I right click while I do this, there's one last thing we can do here. Select track via a track and via width. Right? We can actually go and we can add in a custom size. For some reason, if we needed to, if we needed to uh, set the track size, then we could actually, uh, there's actually a way to go in and, oh, I thought it was that dialog there, sorry. There's the via net size. There's the different ones that we have here. And then we have starting track width. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. So Q. Q is the one that I was thinking. Sorry. So we can actually go and we can, we can add this in. We can make this whatever we want it to now. So now we can make it really monstrous. And now it's huge, right? <laughs> we would never do that. But, but this just kind of shows that if we hit Q while we're doing things, we can actually uh, change things. I thought it was that other dialog. But the other dialog just kind of shows all of the different options that we have there. So if we change this back down to 6 mils, now there we go. All right, so if we also, if we wanted to edit in situ, we can, uh, we can do that. We can right click, or sorry, mouse over, hit e. hit e. OK, there we go. Mouse over and hit E, and we should be able to change this, just this segment, to something a little bit thicker there. And you see that we did select that segment hit E, we can change that to something thicker. Now, if, if you want to go to something thicker and uh, say you want to just redraw this entire track to be a little thicker, what I usually do is I will select my, my uh, track width. And you can see as I hit W, and con Control W actually makes it smaller. W makes it larger. So I could just say, OK, let's, let's go to 24 mil width. I'm going to start a track again. And then I'll draw, that's not right. Uh, I think because I, I set the, um, let's see, because I set it as the starting track width, let's go to custom size. So now, if I hit Control W, there we go. Now if I draw over top of it, it actually does replace it with that differently sized track. And that's a way, to, if you needed to thicken up a track after you've already placed it, you could always go and delete it. But, um, but in this case, um, I just wanted to draw over top of it, and then that allows me to have that thicker trace there. So there's a lot of options to uh, change the, the track width of your, uh, your design. If you need to have you know, a thicker trace, usually it's better for carrying more power and more current. Uh, thinner traces are usually better just because of size constraints. And uh, sometimes if you, have, you know, if you have controlled impedance traces, then you need to know what your width is going to be. And that's an entire video unto itself. If you have any questions about how to uh, design all this stuff, we always talk about this over at contextualelectronics.com. That's an uh, online course where we teach you how to design electronics from scratch, including you know, higher power stuff and uh, with signal traces, all that other stuff. If you have a question about the feature itself, you can go to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info. And finally, uh, I usually don't ask this, but if you're enjoying these videos, please do subscribe and uh, click the little bell button. You'll learn about uh, all of the new videos we put out. We have been putting out a good amount of these about KiCad 5.0. We will be making new ones as 5.1 gets released as well to try and uh, keep up with that. So uh, looking forward to more videos here about layout and KiCad and electronics in general. Thanks for watching.